Now we'll finish off with a uh, trio of listener questions. We'll do these uh, fairly rapid fire. First one comes from friend of the show, Warren Allsworth. Uh, given how quickly the senior game is growing, do you think the PDC will regret not getting involved? Yeah, this was one of the questions that I've held over for a few weeks. I think just after the World Seniors Championship, we got this one. And of course, the World Seniors returns this weekend, a, a new event, the Champion of Champions. And I think it's going to be on Channel 5 for our UK listeners Saturday and Sunday in Blackpool. And you can't go wrong with a, a weekend in Blackpool. But as far as Warren's question, I don't think the PDC are going to have any real regrets. They are the leading organisation in darts. They've got a lot on their plate already. You look they look after the professional tour, the secondary tours with the challenge tour, development tour, the women's series, the world series, the affiliated tours as well. And would putting on a, a seniors tour on top of that stretch them too far, possibly. But I think with Modus, Jason Francis as well, they've got a, a good team there and they are able to spread their resources to, to give it the time it deserves. And we're seeing it grow. It is one of the, the pillars of the Modus brand, the seniors and if it was run by the PDC, it could quite easily have been lost amongst everything else they do. So for me, I, I don't think the PDC are going to have any regrets on it. And I think they'll just say good luck to them and let's see how far they can take it. Is the seniors something that we're going to see still around in, in five or 10 years? I hope so, but I think only time's going to tell on that one. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, the PDC regret it. Um, I mean, obviously we don't know how profitable it is. Obviously, the growth in prize money, the growth in the calendar, and the fact that they're talking about further expansion with regional events um, is a sign that it's it's doing well and it's making money. But there's also only so much uh, manpower and woman power that the PDC has and logistical power that they're able to coordinate. The PDC don't put on darts exhibitions, even though they could be making money by doing that. The PDC is focusing on a specific thing, and that's developing the professional game and the professional tour. Um, And that includes having events for people aspiring to get on the professional tour, whether that's youth players who are uh, progressing or players who uh, weren't able to get on through Q school uh, to the PDC tour um, by giving them the challenge tour. Um, the senior tour, yes, some of these players could come back on and some of them we might see play Q school in the future um, ne- uh, next year, or the following year. I mean, Glenn Durant has said he's thought that he might do Q school next year when we had him on um, a couple months ago. And certainly some of the other players are thinking about that as a possibility. But the senior tour doesn't exist for that. The senior tour is about remembering players of yesteryear and it is just in essence a glorified exhibition but one that is or aims to be competitive and aims to provide opportunities for players to still play at a fairly high level the pdc doesn't need to be involved in that Uh, obviously the pdc could bring something but it just doesn't seem like the type of thing even if it could make money that the pdc is really interested in it doesn't for the most part, grow their brand. It does grow the sport and their promotional arm could help it. Uh, but I just don't see it being the direction the PDC would want to go. And it just doesn't seem to fully fit with their uh, the uh, ethos and pathos that they're building up. 